Hi everyone, welcome back to Trev Dog Gaming here on YouTube, and we are in the game The Infected. This is now episode 21. So in the last episode, we managed to get our oil pump working. So it's sitting there chewing out 150 power, and we can turn it on and off with the oil pump master switch here which we don't need to, we don't want to. I did make another battery, so now we've got 3,000 power stored. Um, in this episode, I'm seriously thinking about going to the last two towns and picking up tech. Um, off camera, I made two more mineral extractors and took them up and put them in the aluminium mine, so there should be five there. If I give it another day, Perhaps, and I go back and visit, I should get an awful lot of aluminium and hopefully I can then fill out a lot more of these. So I put in another row, sort of roughly in the middle. Um, I've got probably these two to do next and then the middle row. If I had all of those wind turbines up and running, then I can definitely run the greenhouse and the oil pump together and have some spare. I could technically try to run it now, but I'm just not sure how much power it's going to use overnight. So that's that. That always seems to be a problem. Where are they? Oi, oh, just ran past me. Oi! Lady! Um, while I'm out here, I might as well quickly show you. what she give me? what she give me? Yeah. Nails is alright, I just wanted oil. Um, so I reconnected this wire into the post, then I ran it down to the floor and then across the ground a bit. It just doesn't sit in your face as much, it looks a bit neater. Um, so this is working a treat, I absolutely love that. So glad to get that out of the way, so now this thing just sits here constantly pushing stone. They both do. So. I haven't had a problem in terms of um, stone now. It'll just sit there and fill up. It, you know, it, it'll just sit there with 40 stone or whatever in that box. Um, so the idea today is to get going. I tried to make a little bit of um, ore overnight. So we've got a fair bit of kit going on here. Have a look at that for iron fragments still. That's quite a lot. Um, I think that is it. It's a bit hard to see if this is a five or a three. I think that's a. I think that's a three. Um, I just try to keep these going so that they can keep pushing as much iron ore. I'm not sure how many I grabbed in. Um, yeah, so it'll just keep you know ticking away, making as much stuff as possible. So the truck is ready to go. Um, drink a bit more water. Probably could have done with some more veggies, to be honest. But then again, I'm probably going to pick up something in 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 the town, without a doubt. Um, so I did want to get this done if I could before winter. I just get the feeling we're not we're not really that far away. Anyway. Um, I'm pretty certain the truck is okay for fuel. Should I? Hmm, you know what? I'm just not going to gamble with it. It doesn't really take much. Uh, where did I put it? Uh, um, 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 um. Was it biofuel? Biofuel. Just let me take this and put this in one of the boxes in the truck. It'd be the stupidest thing ever, maybe this top one, um, to get stuck with no petrol to put in the truck. Even though I think it's like, I don't know, maybe three quarters full. Well, maybe it's a bit less now. It's getting down to about two thirds. I think if you look at that top dial. Yeah, okay. Anyway, I think that's the best thing to do is just to put a bit of extra fuel in the car. Don't roll the vehicle. I see any problem with the base here is that, yeah, it's a bit awkward getting in and out without rolling the truck. So this time we go through here 
past the little copper mine. Well, that's if we can get out and not crash into trees and all sorts of stuff. Oh my goodness. Yep, she's uh, a bit hard to handle sometimes. Um, and that's not the wheel, it's the nut behind the wheel, of course. Um, when we get out to here, this little T intersection, we're going to turn right. Because, let me have a double check. We're going to go around this little loop and then go up north. So we just keep going until we get to a T intersection and turn right. I might even speed this up. So in the next few minutes or seconds I'm going to be straight at the town. Okay everyone, so we're on this last little stretch now. We are almost at this town at the top. It's still fairly early in the morning, which is really good. So how about we just stop here, hop out, meet our friends. <coughs> so what's the time? It's now 20 to 9 in the morning. We are going to tackle... Let's see if we can zoom in here a bit. So, as usual, there's some on the left, some on the right. We'll do the left first. So let's scoot into this first building, and I'll put my light on. It's not because it's late in the day or anything, it's just because there's a storm around. Let's have a quick look through the house. I can't believe how much better it is having that truck. Oh my goodness, you get you get places pretty quick. Actually, I probably can take just about everything. I've got the, the truck with me now, so... All those... cartons where I can store stuff is absolutely fantastic. It makes a huge difference. So, don't forget, today... Fingers crossed... We're gonna pick up the last four pieces of tech. Woohoo! Well, that's the plan. If that really happens or not, I don't know. Okay, leave that door open. So which way are we going to go here? Kind of clockwise, I suppose. The next... I think because I took the truck, I've rattled the vampies. They go and like, where's he gone? Can't find him. That would be funny. Any... I've seen them, I've seen the tech hiding in these corners sometimes too, so... Yeah, I'm not too fussed, I'll just pick up everything I can. I've got the bigger backpack so I can probably fit a fair bit in. It'll be all good. Onion sprout, egg... Yeah, I know it's a computer game, but you kind of ask the question, how did the egg... get on to the kitchen... Oh, well, I suppose someone could have picked it up and put it in there. Come on, Trev, think about it. Alright, so that's that one done. So we'll go to the far... Is that the one I was looking at? Yeah, it must be. Okay. This is the far left one. I have to remember to come back, because I don't think I've done that one yet. Okay, spoiled food. What do we got? Pumpkin seeds. Can't see any tech in there. Pretty much got to look everywhere. Alright, in this part of the house, clay soil, well just don't grab it, it's just like... Uh, don't need all fibre, too easy to get elsewhere. Um, one thing also I'll mention, hey, when I put down the oil pump, that was fantastic. Um, that it means now you don't have to keep firing up um, and putting biofuel or oil in the pumps, right? In the mineral extractors. But, guess what? Oh. Fridge tech, I got the fridge! That's amazing though in one way. I'm just thinking, oh, I'll get the chemistry bench as the very last thing. <laughs> um, no, I was going to say... Oh, that's good, there's an oil can. Um, the clay extractor, hey, it doesn't affect it. So you've still got to have oil or biofuel for the clay extractor. Hmm, interesting, hey? Got to remember that. Alright, let's see if we can do... This is the one that... Hmm. Oh, 
always an opportunity when it comes to getting the the meat. If the frog's there in front of you, you might as well. Alright, nothing there, nothing there. So really out of the fourteen pieces of tech you've got to collect, I've got eleven and I still don't have the chemistry bench. <laughs> Wouldn't that be so silly to have that as the last one you get? Because basically it means getting Mike ends up becoming quite an end game. Oh, well, I suppose it depends. If you go around and search in every town first and collect all the all the kit, um, then it's not going to be right at the end of your game, I suppose. Yeah, nothing on the seat. You really got to look everywhere just to make sure. The seat, mech parts. This used to be so important, but now with the the Vambies, they they might get nerfed or tweaked or tuned down. Just depends on how the dev sees fit to modify the game. But um, yeah, no, he's just outside. Come on up the veranda, bozo. Welcome to the spiky thing. Oh, give me an all. Okay, so I've done. I think all the ones behind me, I've got one, two, maybe to go, so I think it's this building, this building here and that building there, they're the, they're the two I've got left to go. Oh, who saw me? Come on! Oh, it's Missy <laughs> Moo Moo! Dagon Lady! Another piece of ore. Hmm. What's my inventory like? Hmm, gee, we're getting a bit full. Getting a bit full there, Triv. Mechanical parts. Hopefully a lot of this stuff is just going to stack. Nothing there. More mechanical. No tech. What's this? More clay. <laughs> Plant fiber. Nope. Wire. Yes! Take that. Take that any day. Plastic. Can I fit that in? Some more seeds. Can't see anything else. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, I think that's it. Now, I think it's just this one. And this frog. Pretty certain now it's just this little building here. Oh, <gasps> there he is! Hello, hello! Well, her. Gee, there's a few Avon ladies around. Alright, so for this side of the town, I'm pretty certain this is it. Oh, does that stack? Oh, it does stack. Okay. Yeah, got a little bit of space left, I suppose. Another piece of... Oh, nothing there, nothing there. Tallow and plastic. Oh, is that? Oh, no, the tallow's stacking. Hmm, okay. That's alright. No tech. Is that a few seeds? Some more plastic. Some more seeds. Okay. Let me just have a look here. There's a bit of that spoiled food that I picked up. How did I pick up the eggs? Oh, they're on the shelf, weren't they, inside the house? That's right. Okay. Now, where is my... So if I go back this way, then I can head across to the other side of the town. So I'll just empty all this stuff. Is that the Avon lady again? It is too! Hello! Man, there's a lot of them around. Chest? No, I'll do the middle chests. Let's see if I can drop most of this stuff off in here. Mm, can't do this, the big stuff yet. Nope. Next one. Remember, I've got a fair bit of stuff to do here. Okay. So, which one's first? There's no others in there, is there? Okay. It's got to be this one. This one first. So if I sneak in here, 
That's the first one. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Wire, potato paste. See, some of that would stack anyway. Nothing in there. Nothing on there. I don't really, if you're wondering, I don't think I've ever really seen anything in the bathtub, but... I just check. Ooh, little med kit. Some more seeds, always welcome. Nothing on there? Okay. No tech. Got a potato. I thought that was a frog then for a sec. God, it's not even moving. Plant fibre, it can stay there. Nothing on the seat, nothing there. Uh, more potato paste. All good. Last little bit here. Pick up a potato boy out. Alright, so that building's now done. Done and dusted. Alright, so have I just come out the back? I think I have. Alright, we'll do the clockwise thing again. So we'll scoot into this building. Oops. Ooh, some ore. Dry brick. As I say, nothing in the bathroom. Nothing on the kitchen shelf. Pick up a bandage, med kit, baked potato. Or potato. Tomato, tomato, however you want to pronounce it. I'll take an empty can. Don't touch the clay. Was that bark chips? Don't touch the bark chips. Who wants bark chips? Not me. Leave the rope. Okay, that's pretty much it for this building. Okay. Oh man. Come on. Oh, it's a floating guy. Let's have a look. So, am I going in... Yeah, so going in a clockwise motion, this is the next one. Look out, bird. Haha, <laughs> what are you doing there? I don't know, I'm just hanging around, really. Moron. Alright. Keep going through this one. Electrical parts... Oh, I'll pick up the glass, I suppose. I normally don't, but it's like... I have got a fair bit of storage space on me. Rope I won't take. That's nothing. What's this? Ooh, medical kit. Ooh, potato sprout by three. Hmm. So this is a rather small house, this one. So I'm just going to this one next, which is cool. Where are you? Come on then. Oh, this is the jumpy guy, remember? <laughs> uh, how does that feel, hey? A bit stupid jumping up on top of the spike, hey? He's a doofus. Bone shards. There's the tech. A lamp tech. <laughs> oh, for crap's sake. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna fulfill itself. Here, Trev, get the chemistry table last. Anyway, I know it's in the last town, hey? That's uh, that, that's a sure bet now. Alright, so we don't have to sort of physically look around for any tech. Uh, we're just picking up anything that we can make use of, I guess. What's up here? Medicated bandage, a big health kit. Alright, well, that's pretty much it. So I think it's probably this it could be the last building. It's either this one or the next one. Man, you guys love this village, don't you? Hey? They just love it. No, don't give me the Yeah, I don't really want that. Got plenty of that. Got tons of that at home, guys. We got a bone, glass. We've got more plastic, potato paste, ten nails is pretty good. I mean, it's exactly the same as having one iron ingot, I suppose. Potato paste, those. Quickly have a look upstairs. We've got potato, potato, and more potato paste. Alright. 
So is this the last building or was there one more? If I went round in a circle it'd be this would be the last building, I'm sure. No, I've got the door open. Okay, it's not this one. That's it. That town is now officially finished, except for the jumpy guy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's just not funny. Alright, let's see. Where were we? Can we put these in? We can. Kevlar and those here. Can we put more bones in? More mechanical parts? More plastic? Hmm. That's pretty good. Alright. That's the beauty, I guess, of having so many chests, so many boxes. Alright, so we're down to almost half petrol. Maybe not the best place to do a three point turn, but you know. You know what I will do? Let's jump out for a sec. I'm just gonna double check. Drink water. Eat, hang on. Eat some protein. Take another one of them. Just wondering if hmm, maybe this one. I think I'm carrying a bit too much stuff. Not much point carrying all of this. Okay, and I might just save the game here. So at this point in time, I've done the first town. Now we have to move on and do the next one, uh, which is a long way to travel. So. I might speed up the video and I'll meet you at or close to the next town. Okay, we're coming up on the last little section of road. Is that it there? Hang on. Oh, we're already there. Oh, amazing. Hmm, okay, that was quick. That truck makes life so much easier. So what have we got? A few on this side. So let's start with this guy. And then we'll do a clockwise turn, I suppose. A potato, sprout, nothing in there, nothing there. Not touching the fibre. Not touching the fibre. Spoilt food, baked potato. Not going to be much up here, I suppose. Medicated bandage, or. Eh, not too bad. Alright. Did I do everything? Just felt like that was a bit quicker than it should have been. Or well, maybe because uh, I didn't go into that room? Maybe. Alright, so we're back outside again. So to go clockwise. I kind of feel like I need to go to the house behind here, this one. I was half expecting a zombie to yell at me, but... Feathers... Uh, cloth I'll take, even though I can make a lot of it now. Um, seeds... Probably should be taking those crutches, I can make them anyway, I suppose. Actually, I'll tell you what. If you go... where is it in this list? It's not under resources... not under food or seeds... Oh, there's crutch. It's two sticks and... F oh my goodness. It's sticks and plant fibre. Oh dear. You know, you can make heaps of them. I wouldn't be bothered. Alright, so that means I've done this house. It's only a small house. Actually, what's the time in the day? Oh, it's 3.30 p.m. Jeez. Yeah, that, um, that went pretty quick. I mean, I can drive home pretty quickly, that's not a problem, but... I just want to get scooting through here as quick as I can. Bandage. Oh, oil can, that's pretty cool. Um, little med kit. Fragments. Potato. Definitely didn't see anything. What about upstairs here? The bone. More 
rope, more glass, nothing there, wire, definitely bark chips, there. Don't like the bark chips. I get too many bark chips. Alright, so now that we're coming out, hmm, I think it's this one, next. This little tiny house. Spoiled food, biofuel, some bandages, some nails. Why there's oil on the stove, I'm not sure. Maybe that's the way of cooking it up. Or so someone thought. So hang on a second, does that mean... I think I came from here, didn't I? The door will be open, yep. So there's got to be two... Oh, they're up here. Okay. So there's two more buildings. I think I've kind of come around the back door, actually. Alright, nothing... Nothing... So don't forget, I haven't... In this town, I haven't picked up any tech yet. So I've got to be aware of that. Cool. So remember what I was saying? What's the bet that the last piece of tech I pick up is the chemistry... Chemistry bench thing. <laughs> tech, you watch. <laughs> Being a bit pessimistic here, but I still think that's going to happen. Mac part, there was nothing on that chair or that table. What about in here? Nope. Okay. Sorry if I'm going a bit too quick and a little drunk. So, is it this building? It's this building. Okay, so this is the last one on this side of the town. Let's have a look. Baked potato. Some nails. Um, oil can. Some ore. Some animal fat. Definitely no tech there, hey. It's a potato sprout. Spoiled food, more. It's pretty good on picking up a few um, pieces of wiring. Just double check something. Did, did I go in here? No, I didn't. Bones, glass, nothing there or there. So now it's just upstairs. Some coal. Gee, I tell you what, if there's anything on the floor there, it'd have to be something really small, like a nail screw or a pumpkin seed or something. Okay, so, we've done everything on that side of the town. We've got to now go back to this side of the town, but we might just drop off everything we have. Um, I could possibly do this in one of the other chests, I suppose. Um, but it doesn't really matter. Which one did I go in? That's the food one. Maybe just pick another one. Oh, did I not empty that? Jeez, trivia slack. Alright, go to the one on this far side. Yep, go in here. So I'm still yet to find any of the tags, so uh, to keep an eye out. Now, yeah. circular saw bench, there you go. <laughs> so the very last one is going to be the chemistry table. Oh my goodness. Oh, you know, I'm being kind of cynical, but you kind of think, oh my goodness, do they do that on purpose so that you got to go everywhere else before they give you the tech to get the chemistry table? Probably. Okay, so I'm going in this direction to go clockwise. Here he is! Hello, people! How are we all? Hello! Ah, oh, man. Oh, biofuel. What's he gonna give me? There's two pieces of clay. Fantastic. Be okay if that's really what you were looking for, but honestly, not really particularly looking for that. Not looking for rope. Nothing, nothing, nothing. We'll take the ore. Alrighty, so it must be this building. It's, I remember there's a loop of buildings and perhaps one in the middle. 
I can't remember that. All right, all right. So dry brick, mech parts, some more seeds, rope we won't touch, cucumber seeds, some bone shards. Now upstairs, if we can get upstairs, some coal, some sprouts, coal. There it is, the chemistry table blueprint. Oh my goodness. Well, you know what? Absolutely no point continuing. That was the last tech. Um, fantastic. So we've got it. Absolutely brilliant. Um, where's my big red truck? There she is. So, let me have a look. It is now 5.40pm. I might as well just coast, coast home. I'll just double check that I've got a drink of water, eating some meat, eat a bit more veg, eat a potato or two, so I'm kind of pretty full. There you go, that's pretty good. Alright, well, I'm going to buzz off and get right back to the base, so I'll probably speed this up and meet you. Whoops. <laughs> no, I'm not. Can't do that if you go on the wrong way, Trev. Alright, I will speed this up and I'll meet you back at our base. Okay, so we're in this last little stretch now coming back to our base. There's no doubt about it, having this truck makes life so much easier. I can't imagine how long that would... I would have had to have stayed out overnight. I think last time I did a big trip like this to do two towns in one day, it was like very, very late when I came back. I think it felt more like, you know, 11 o'clock or midnight or something, I can't remember, it was very late. Alright. Okay, so there you go, fantastic, well I can take a lot of that loot and I can put a lot of that stuff away off camera, um, I've got a fair bit on me so I might put away, um, maybe the majority of this stuff? I suppose, so just bear with me a sec, I'll just throw this stuff away. Well, you know, not away away, but I'll put it into the cupboard, that's what I'm saying. Um, let's put our seeds up here. At least that means now I've pretty much got everything. Um, so we should... Um, by rights, be able to make the chemistry bench. So that's certainly the first thing that I'm going to be doing. Try to sort that out. Put that away. Put the, yeah, I've got seven. Yeah, I've got seven oil. That's not too bad. Um, bones. Put that away. Where did I have the dry brick? I can't remember whether I put it. I put it somewhere else. Wasn't in there. Wasn't in there. That's the. You know what? I'm just going to throw it in here. Is that where the dry bricks are? Yeah, I must have had the same thought before. <laughs> okay. So, uh, we'll put that in there. That in there. Okay, so just say we've got a clean slate. I know we've got stuff in the truck, but I'll fix that up off camera. Now, um, oh, I suppose I could always just sort this stuff out while I've got the chance. Um, Hang on, that's four. That doesn't make much difference, actually. So I might just keep these on me. Might eat one of them. Drink a little bit more water. Okay, now, the chemistry table. Um, 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 um. This is really more so, I think, the best place to put it. So placeables, where is it? Chemistry table. 
which way is it meant to go? A bit hard to see. Might leave enough room over here, maybe, to put another one of these guys, if 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 I can. Okay. So what's it need? Ten planks. Ten nails. Ten planks. The nails aren't too far away either. So there's ten planks. Two glass, ten nails. Glass, we'll take two. I said ten nails? Oh man, typical. I think that's ten. So we'll throw those in. I think it just said three lead. So three lead ingots. So that's easy done. Um, let's take the three. Then we should make the chemistry table. And then the antidote for a good old friend, Mike, was what? Five mushrooms, three fish oil, and a liver. So, the mushrooms don't go off anyway. Except you can't see them until you flip over to there. Five mushrooms, fish oil, did I say, I think I said three, and then we've got to cut up a liver. Uh, this is kind of why we just keep these guys on the table here. Okay, we'll just do a quick run to the water, get that stuff off, before I get poisoned. Okay, then you have to move that around a bit. So I should have everything I need, which is these three, then the mushies. Will it move the mushies? Five, and there's our antidote. Fantastic. Alright, I'm going to put this up here in miscellaneous, and hopefully I remember that I put it up here in miscellaneous. Um, just don't want to forget about that. Okay. Okay, so that's all really good. Finally got all the tech, been to all those places. I have the chemistry table, and I have the antidote. So, I could technically go get Mike now. You know that? And bring him back. But, I might hold off just a tad longer until I get this extra bit of electricity up and running. So how far off was I anyway? Uh, I've got eight turbines, so that's doing, what, 160? It would be good to have 260, then I'm out right in front. I'll see how I go, but... Maybe I'll do a little bit of grinding off camera, but what I would like to do is to probably visit the aluminium mines on camera. Because now that I've got five there, I should come back with a massive amount of aluminium ore. Uh, assuming it's been long enough days to generate it all, I suppose. But anyway, I'll leave this episode here. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you want to um, help and support the channel, then by all means smash the like button if you'd like to be notified of more videos then by all means, subscribe. Alright, thanks everyone. Cheers.